Welcome to the video tutorial for Asset Transfer in R4BP3. The purpose of this tutorial is to explain how to change the ownership of assets. The Asset Transfer is a type of administrative change according to the Changes Regulation. Asset Transfer is conducted when the ownership of an authorization changes. Here, one company purchases one or more biocidal product authorizations from another company. This can be national authorizations for a single product or a product family. This is applicable for both standard and simplified authorizations. In addition, this process is applicable to union authorizations. In order to manifest the change of ownership, both legal entities have to participate in the process and we will explain to you how it works in R4BP3. Let's assume Company A wants to sell a single biocidal product authorization or a product family covering whole product line to Company B. Companies A and B have agreed. Company B receives the authorization once the payment has been settled with Company A. We will see how an asset transfer is done in R4BP3. There are essentially four steps which take place during an asset transfer. Company A initiates the transfer by tagging the respective asset in the Delegation Nomination tab in the Asset Details in R4BP3. Company B will locate the asset in its Asset Portfolio. Upon selecting the asset, Company B will choose to accept the asset transfer. Company B will also have to upload a summary of product characteristics, the so-called SPC. The evaluating member state competence authority will proceed to approve the asset transfer. Once approved, the asset will then belong entirely to Company B. We will now demonstrate how a company can do an asset transfer in R4BP3. Let's assume you are Company A and wish to transfer a specific asset to Company B. In order to start the transfer, search for the specific asset in R4BP3. Once you have located the specific asset, go to the Delegation Nomination tab and click on the Add Transfer button. You are then requested to provide the legal entity UUID to which the asset will be transferred to. Also, indicate a date when the transfer will become valid and an end date, in other words, a date by when the transfer should expire. Because the asset has been initiated for transfer to Company B, a button stating Accept Asset Transfer will be visible in the Specific Asset Details page of Company B. In order to accept the asset transfer, Company B must click on the Accept Asset Transfer button. You are then requested to select a contact person. And if you agree with all the information displayed, click Next. You are then requested to upload a summary of product characteristics, if you have additional documents which you would like to upload, please upload them here, otherwise click next.
here you are requested to confirm your application details. Insert a security check and complete by submitting application. A submission number is assigned to your asset transfer and information concerning your application is displayed. The evaluating member state's competent authority will process the asset transfer as any other administrative change application. Once approved, Company B will be able to apply for changes or renewals as the new authorization holder. For more information on asset transfer, please refer to the Biocide submission manuals and technical guides on the ECHO website. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.